Hi again, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm, and I remain an optimist about roses. I think roses are on the verge of a renaissance. They had a bit of a, a boom in the latter half of the 20th century, and then a bit of a crash around 2000 towards 2010, but I think they're on the upswing again, and I think what's happening is people are getting past those sort of shallow perceptions of roses as a difficult thing to grow, something that should be off in a garden somewhere, tended to by experts, rather than integrated with other plants in the garden, which of course, you know, roses will show their value in that situation. In a veggie garden, in a mixed planting with perennials, roses shine. So what I want to do today is I want to highlight some people who are bringing forward that story. A rose influencers, seven of them, who I think are worth listening to, and especially if you're brand new to roses, if you're a novice, connecting with these people may deepen your appreciation for the hobby. You'll get a perspective from some other place in the world, and people who enjoy different parts of the hobby. So first I'm going to start with uh, a profile of Michael Marriott. Michael Marriott is a garden designer and public speaker about roses out of the UK. And I will link his website in below the video here. I'm gonna do that for each of these people I'm profiling is link their sites and their social media accounts below in the, com in the description of the video. Um, the way you may know Mark Michael Marriott the best, though, is from his association with David Austin Roses. He was a, uh, a rosarian and the technical manager for David Austin Roses for many years. And in that role, he became the voice for the English roses around the world. He would uh, show up in interviews uh, on TV, radio, uh, Rose Chat podcast. Uh, he, he, was, he was literally everywhere. The best way to connect with him now, of course, is through the website I'm going to link you to. But also, I follow him on Instagram, and he has a... Uh, I don't know if the photography is his, I assume it is. Uh, he does a great job of highlighting gardens and roses. Uh, so if you get a chance to listen to him, he does public speaking engagements, track him down, find out how you can connect with uh, Michael Marriott. Speaking of the Rose Chat podcast, I'm going to place that as number two on my list of Rose influencers worth watching, along with both of its creators and presenters, Teresa Byington and Chris Van Cleve. Now, I should note right here as a side note that this list I'm presenting is not an ordered list. It's not meant to give you kind of any, any ranking between the different Rose influencers. So please, for my sake, don't take it that way. Now, back to the Rose Chat podcast. Isn't it wonderful that we have a podcast that's dedicated to our own little corner of the garden? hobby I mean, the gardening hobby is huge but to have somebody who's dedicated to gathering interviews specifically about roses things about rose rosette disease they host r researchers on that topic uh, nursery owners. Um, a lot of the influencers that you'll find on this list have appeared on the Rose Chat podcast. So uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful resource. A word or two on Chris Van Cleve and Teresa Byington is that they're both very active in their local rose societies and in fact in the American Rose Society uh, as a whole. Uh, they each have their own websites. I'm going to link those down below. Teresa Byington has a garden blog and Chris Van Cleve is known as the Redneck Rosarian. He has his own site. He also does public speaking uh, actually, they both do public speaking, and so uh, I'm going to link everything down below so you can connect with them. For number three on the list, let's jump over from the world of podcasting over straight to Facebook. Now, I love Facebook as a way of connecting hobbyists in their Facebook groups. I have a, a favorite group for plant propagation, but my favorite group for roses is called Rose Addicts. And I want to highlight that group and its administrator, uh, Kenneth Rollins. They put together such a fun positive way for rose people to connect. Uh, you'll see a frequent frequent things that you'll see on this group is people sharing their shopping lists and purchases, uh, their planting techniques, the way that they treat their roses in the garden, the way that they pin them up, obviously, sharing rose pictures. Uh, I mean, these are people who are excited and fun about roses. And, and I think part of the uh, challenge of running a Facebook group like this is to keep it engaged, to keep it active, to keep it positive. And Kenneth Rollins does a wonderful job of this. I hope he doesn't mind me saying. Uh, just a super fun guy uh, who is doing credit to the hobby of roses, not as something that's all serious and, and, and proud, but something that's, that's quite uh, fun and enjoyable and is welcoming to people at all levels of the hobby. At number four, I want to interject with a welcome to a new Rose YouTuber, The Rose Geek. And I saw that name and I'm like, hey, I could relate. <laughs> so this is Kimberly. Uh, she's gardening on the Potomac River, beautiful property out in Maryland, East Coast perspective. And she's only been doing 
YouTube videos on roses for less than a year now. So uh, she's put up something in the range of 100 videos, lots and lots. Uh, something that could be very useful to particularly the US viewers is lots of reviews on suppliers, things people that I can't order from. So she's going to have a great perspective on that, but also gardening tips videos and of course tours of her lovely property. So uh, welcome to the party. I know uh, it may be a little weird to put a brand new YouTuber on the same level as Michael Marriott, but as I say, this isn't a ranked list. This is just a welcome to the party and uh, I think she has something to contribute so if you have uh, uh, some time to go check out her channel and maybe throw her a subscription uh, and check check out the videos and leave some comments I'm sure she would appreciate it on to number five and what should I say about Paul Zimmerman author uh, influencer youtuber uh, garden designer uh, garden tour leader uh, and kind of the intellectual genesis of the idea that roses should be presented as just another garden plant, as something that is uh, both challenging and rewarding in its own ways, but no different than other plants. It should be integrated into your gardens. Um, I love his approach. I love his no-nonsense, uh, no fuss, uh, no elevating the rose to a high space in the garden. Uh, they're just everyday plants and I love him for it. Um, so definitely check out his YouTube channel, his uh, garden blog website. Uh, he does tours. I think he takes groups, uh, you know, pandemic notwithstanding, I think he takes groups on tours uh, through uh, the rose gardens of, uh, of Europe. Uh, so uh, definitely check out Paul Zimmerman. Uh, uh, you know, he's, a, he's, he's a, an inspiration to all of us. In spot number six, I have to give a shout out to a local legend, Brad Jalbert, who I live in his shadow quite literally. He is a breeder of roses, internationally renowned, runs select roses out in Langley, and is so well known to all of the local garden clubs and, uh, and of course, rosarians around the world for his contributions, some of his uh, fa more famous breeding contributions, uh, the Vogue Anniversary Rose, which was introduced just a couple of years back. Also, I see Royal City planted around here quite frequently. Uh, so just very, very well known. He's written a book on roses. He maintains his own YouTube channel where he talks on various topics around roses. And uh, he actually does a great job of contributing to his Facebook. He has a wonderful community there that he's built around uh, his nursery. And uh, if you ever get a chance to visit it in person, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, but even from a distance, he's a, he's a guy worth listening to. Number seven on my list is Der Rosenmeister, and I challenge you to go to his website or blog and find out how he achieved that name without being German himself. Now, Der Rosenmeister is, a, I had to include him here because he's a man cut from my own cloth, somebody who got into the hobby, loved roses, started propagating them, turned it into a nursery hobby, and it's just snowballed from there. You'll find him on Facebook. I've interacted with him on a number of Facebook groups. Uh, you will find him featured on a couple of YouTube videos from another channel. I will link those below. Um, and of course, you can check out his website and nursery online. Uh, you know, as I say, uh, just a, a, a sympathetic spirit in my mind, so I had to include him on in this list. Thanks so much for watching today on my list of Rose influencers worth watching. Now I get to the end of this video and I feel like I have to explain myself because some people obviously didn't make it onto the list. It's not because of them, it's me. I have my own little myopic view of the world. I take it from my little spot on the west coast of North America. So I think six out of the seven people I mentioned were all North American. Uh, I also have to say that there were other people I considered putting on the list, but they either didn't, they probably just didn't have a strong enough social media presence for me to put them on there. And I did want to focus on people that you could connect with. Now, all of that said, if you have your own list, if you have people you follow uh, on roses and you'd love to feature them here, that's what the comments are for. We can have a good conversation about other rose influencers and other places to look for information about roses and definitely feel free to contribute to that. Thanks again for watching.